okay so this is how many times i cried during the movie <laughs> i'm here reviewing guardians of the galaxy volume three let's get into it okay so you know what i like the story i do like the story and i almost didn't watch the movie because the trailer was not giving that is it just me who felt like the trailer had more potential but i felt like it's because they were holding the juicy bits for us to actually watch the movie yeah almost didn't watch it but i'm so glad i did okay so first up let's start with gamora and peter now i love not love i do like how they didn't have their happy ending i feel like a lot of movies like this you know they love each other, they grow apart, or you know, somebody loses the memory or whatever, and then they end it with them falling back in love with each other. But I love how they didn't have that. And it was still like a cool, amicable ending. Like it wasn't bad blood or anything. It was still nice and chill, and you know, everyone has gone their own ways. And it's fine, it's perfectly fine. There is no need to have a happy ending. So I like that. The next thing is Nebula. Now I feel like Nebula's character has kind of changed a little bit over the years. I feel like Nebula's gone a bit soft. Nebula has gone a bit soft on us. This is just me that thinks this. Um, I feel like there was a lot of emotions in this movie. Then again, it is this one was quite an emotional one. But just seeing how the interaction was between Rocket and Peter and all these things that Nebula did, and I'm just like, oh wow, that's very nice of you, very kind of you. The Nebula that I remember was a very, very big meanie, but you know what? I'm glad that there's been some character development and it's now gone super nice, not super nice, but has kind of gone nicer than before. Adam Warlock, what was the point exactly? Now, I guess they wanted to introduce that character and give us a new Guardian of the Galaxy, but I just feel like the whole him and mom and, you know, just all these other things and attacking, and I'm just like, it's a bit random. Like, we get it, he's powerful, yeah, but, okay. I don't know, I feel like there wasn't much to the character in this movie. I feel like it kind of made him look like, look, look like an airhead, kind of, in a sense. But obviously without Adam, Peter wouldn't have been saved in the end, so I appreciate Adam for being there. Honestly, in that bit at the end when Peter was in space, um, and I thought, why can't Groot just reach up and <laughs> stretch the arms? But, you know, try it, it didn't work. And then Adam was the one that was able to go into space and get him, so I was like, okay, I get it now, I get it. Um, but yeah, that's the second... That was point two when I cried, when I thought Peter was gonna die. I was like, no. Guys, do not do this to me. Do not end it like that. Do not do it. But yeah, obviously, they can't kill him off. They can't. They can't. Um, but yeah, the first point, Rocket, when he died on the table, and then Gamora was like, there's nothing that can be done. And then Peter was like, no. And then he kept trying. And I was like, oh my gosh, you've got to bring him back to life. So that was the first time that I cried, yeah, in the movie. But yeah, normally I don't really cry. Well, that's a lie, I do cry. But yeah, it was kind of an emotional one. I feel like they really played with our emotions in this movie in general. Like, there was a lot of under themes about, like, animal cruelty. They were very vivid with the graphics. Not very vivid, but, like, when you see that they had those works done on them how they looked and how fragile they were and how you know in pain they were and stuff like that like you could just see that okay yeah they kind of like sub like subtly touching on animal cruelty and how wrong it is and how bad it is and they were playing on our emotions in that aspect so i did i did kind of like that hint the yondu cameo absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful i was not expecting that obviously craglin got the arrow inherited from yondu and then he's been trying to master that this whole movie and you just know you know it's a movie you kind of know it's a bit cheesy but yeah you know that he's gonna obviously know how to do it by the point that it gets really serious and you have to start saving lives so when he started focusing channeling his energy and then yondu appeared i was like yes i know what's going on i know what's about to happen and then yeah absolutely loved it and i loved the dynamic between kagalin as well and cosmos the space dog um the whole bad dog <laughs> they had throughout the whole movie the whole interaction absolutely cute i love how i just in general how guardians of the galaxy is just a, a, an interesting play between humans and animals space creatures and all these things it's just very natural very chill and yeah and i just loved how they basically played on that a little bit more and also included our emotions into that as well also the movie is pretty much about rocket in general let's not lie it's, it's the big the biggest focus is on rocket and so understanding his origin you know how it was created where he came from all of those things how we even got the name rocket that was all like a lovely beautiful way to like kind of piece everything together and obviously because now he is the new captain i feel i feel like it was a really good transition from like help letting us know his origin and now he's the one taking over and all those things just great 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 and then also the way that we now have every single time he'll say i'm not a raccoon or i'm not this i'm not a dad da, da, da. but now we know for sure that he is a raccoon so i guess having that final you know assurance of knowing where he's from or where he's come from or that kind of thing was just 
really really beautiful touch and ending now with the ending <clears throat> I was shocked to see that the whole band split up but then again not really because I kind of anticipate that that could happen um, and obviously throughout the beginning of the movie throughout throughout everything you could you you kind of knew how it was gonna end like we knew that Peter was gonna see his granddad we we knew that the, the vibes the hints were dropped here and there we kind of knew that so that was really beautiful I was worried I was like is he gonna be alive still you know but obviously movie <laughs> it's a movie it's gonna have a happy ending so yeah that was really nice to see um and if you didn't know the what there are two post credit scenes um if you missed them you didn't miss much because not much didn't happen in them but there are two post credit scenes that were just like randomly there so overall it was a pretty cool movie good storylines really good actor selection like the cast was really wonderful um there were some things that I'm just like, okay, different. Um, it didn't need to be two hours long, not really, but it's okay because it didn't feel like it was two hours when I sat down. Like I didn't feel like, you know, sometimes you feel tired, you feel bored, you feel sleepy. And I, I never felt bored. I just kept watching and it was pretty cool. And I feel like every single, every single thing was kind of needed. Some bits you could get rid of and the movie will still make sense, but I guess they wanted to, you know, give us the full thing. Um, so that was really cool. And yeah, overall, I am going to miss the band being together, but I do like the way the new band looks as well. So yeah, looking forward to seeing what the new Guardians have in store for us. That is my review. Make sure you check out my other videos and let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what your opinion is. And yeah, see you in my next one.